It's difficult to judge whether the development of nuclear energy is part of a program to provide a source of power or as a means to produce the world's most deadly weapon, the atomic bomb. Iran has been working on a secret nuclear program for 18 years and is very close to being able to build its first atomic bomb. International inspectors in Iran are rarely allowed access to these nuclear facilities. The International Atomic Agency, or the IAEA, is facing its biggest challenge. Negotiations with the Iranian regime are so important that the head of the IAEA, Mohammad al baradi was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Any country that aims or to acquire nuclear weapon is a grave threat to international peace and security, particularly in a region like the Middle East, which is full of hostility, full of lack, full of distrust, and, and, and full of instability. So one use of nuclear weapons is it could be the beginning of the doomsday. Iran is very close uh, to uh, getting the bomb. There was one report that I received in um, late June that there was a meeting, a secret meeting held in Tehran, attended by Supreme Leader Khamenei and a number of other senior officials of the Iranian regime, where Khamenei ordered the Iranian officials to speed up their nuclear weapons program in order to give Iran the nuclear capability by mid next year, that's mid-2005. The Iranian Shah Hab 4 rocket can reach Israel, Egypt and Turkey, but it can also reach a significant portion of Europe. The Iranians are working on a larger missile with a range of 4,000 kilometers. Ali Reza Jafazadi uncovered the Iranian clandestine nuclear program. He is spokesman for an Iranian opposition group in Washington. They amassed all the evidence and the evidence was disturbing. Buried bunkers and secret reactors unknown to the world for years, despite modern satellite technology. I think the IAEA was, uh, was amazed with the level of advancement. The whole world was shocked because Iran had never um, announced or declared any of these, uh, these uh, sites. The Iranian nuclear program is conspicuously large. Altogether, there are 15 different nuclear sites located throughout the country. The Iranians say these are for peaceful purposes only, but suspicions remain. Why is the world's fourth largest oil producing country putting so much effort and money into nuclear energy? Why do they want to investigate the nuclear cycle? The size and capacity of these underground facilities is beginning to worry the experts. Building that's kind of half buried um, at the end of a dead end with a curved road, which sometimes can provide protection. There's this mound of dirt that looks like it's been excavated. Well, certainly we are worried that they are developing a, a uranium enrichment program that is quite large. And what that means is that even if they do not currently have a nuclear weapons program, they would have an infrastructure that if they decided to make a nuclear weapon and to make the, the highly enriched uranium for a nuclear weapon, they could do that very quickly. Iran first attempted to develop a nuclear capability in the 60s, when the Shah, with the aid of the Americans, built the first nuclear reactor. In the 70s, the German company Siemens started the construction of the nuclear plant at Boucher. The construction of one reactor has been completed. The second is already on its way. In the aftermath of the Islamic Revolution, the Mullahs stated that nuclear power was fundamentally un-Islamic, but they soon changed their mind. Because of American pressure, Siemens did not finish the construction of the nuclear plant at Boucher themselves. Instead, the Iranians asked for help from the Russians, who were all too willing to oblige. But what everyone had misunderstood was that behind the facade of a civilian nuclear program, the Iranians were contemplating a fledgling nuclear weapons program. Boucher will give the proper cover and facade and justification for the Iranian regime's nuclear weapons program. Because so long as they have the Boucher program going, they can justify having hundreds of nuclear scientists. They can justify all the nuclear research and the lab and, and things, that, the works that they're doing. Iran has openly stated in the past that it will start with production of urine hexafluoride, the base for uranium enrichment. 
The European countries had tried through diplomatic means to convince Iran not to attempt the enrichment of uranium. Vital in the creation of nuclear weapons. The amount of uranium hexafluoride uh, that Iran would like to make out of their current stock of yellow cake would be an, uh, enough for about five nuclear weapons. Now, that kind of quantity is very small in the context of a civilian program, but it's very large in the context of a, a burgeoning uh, nuclear weapons program. At the head offices of the IAEA in Vienna, the inspectors are testing samples gathered from Iran. Comparisons can readily be made with Iraq, but how real is the threat from Iran? Certainly, um, the, the WMD threat posed by Iran is very different than the one posed by Iraq, and uh, particularly the nuclear threat. We have on the ground hard evidence about what the Iranians have that we never had with regard to Iraq. It's not the first time the IAEA has been accused of missing a trick. The dealings of Pakistani nuclear physicist Dr. Khan, who sold nuclear bomb technology internationally, was not discovered for many years and only then when he confessed to the Pakistani government. Should the IAEA have controlled Iran's ambitions? I can now sit in Vienna here and see what's happening in a facility in Switzerland, for example. You know, exactly if somebody is moving inside the facility, I see that on a television screen here. So we, the technology is... is is, is, is very sophisticated, but we, we cannot, we are not gods. We do not see intention. The situation has been well monitored, but the West doesn't have a great deal of clout. Oil prices are already sky high. Sanctions would raise it even further. And it would appear that due to the intervention in Iraq, an American-led military intrusion into Iran is not feasible at this stage. Iranian diplomats argue that they are merely protecting themselves against the Israeli nuclear threat. Those who are opposed to such a program see different motives behind the Mullah's efforts to acquire nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons is a must for the Ayatollahs in Iran um, because the Ayatollahs in Iran have a grand agenda for the whole region. They want to impose their hegemony uh, on all the Islamic countries and the countries in the region. They want to establish a global Islamic rule. Um, and a necessary part of their strategy is to arm themselves with nuclear weapons. The Iranian issue can no longer be ignored. IAEA scientists now have samples from Iran containing traces of enriched uranium. But how can we restrict the Mullah's nuclear ambitions? For the moment, the US and the Europeans cannot agree on a joint policy. <laughs>